What is up, YouTube? This is your girl, Kentucky Sweet. Dang, I'm just way back chilling right now. I've had a long day. I've been up since 5 this morning. And it's 8.44. And I've been non-stop until just now. But <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, maybe I'll make another video about my adventures today. That was inappropriate. Um, today was my first deal. I went to the doctor today and was checked out again to make sure for my incident Thursday that, you know, I didn't have any inflammation and everything was okay. So, I went in, my sister went with me, and the nurse practitioner, physician, physician assistant, um, asked me some questions. She asked me um, about what portion of food was I eating, how long was it before I got hungry, and my response was, well, she asked me was I eating about the size of a lean cuisine, which I probably eat that or less. And she asked, how long was it before I was hungry again? I said, about three hours. Oh, really? Stop yawning. I'm so tired. But, um, so then she was like, so are you satisfied when you get it from the table? And I said, yes. I said, I'm satisfied, but I feel it's a mind thing. Like, I'm telling myself you're not going to eat anymore. You're full. You're not going to eat anymore. Get up from the table. That's what I'm telling myself. But, you know, if I have a breakdown and, um, you know, the food is good, I can continue eating. I can continue eating if I want to. That's basically what I told her. If I pepper, I can continue eating if I want to, you know. Um, um, I don't stop eating because, um, uh, my band is prohibiting me from eating. I stop eating because I'm trying to change my ways of thinking, basically. You know, instead of saying, ooh, that tastes good, I want to eat some more, I'm saying, no, you're satisfied, stop. But, if I get to the point where, you know, I want to eat some more, I, I can, you know, I have room, you know, it's, it's fun, so, she looks at me and says, well, you just avoided a needle today, you don't need a fill, and I'm like, what, and I, and I told her, I said it nicely, I said, I understand that, I said, you're the professional, and I understand that, but I'm telling you, if I wanted to eat more, I could, and then she's like, you're telling, you're changing your story. And my sister was sitting there right with me. And she was like, she just said the exact same thing. If she wanted to eat more, she can, you know. And she was almost not going to do my field today. She was very rude. She's the rudest person that I have met at this center. It was just, she was very rude. And um, it was very argumentative. So I told her, you know, you're the professional. If you feel that I don't need to feel, then that's what it is. But I'm telling you, if I have something that I want to eat, I can't eat it, you know. And that's not t changing my story. That's saying exactly what I just said. I wish I had a tape recorder, but I'm glad my sister was in there. So she looks at me and she says, with an attitude, well... If I get this too tight, if you if I put this in here and get it too tight, you better come right back. Blah, blah, blah. Which, you know, it's already said and done, but, I mean, dang woman. This lap band is meant to be used as a tool to restrict how much you can eat, right? If I could all the time mentally say, okay, you're full you know, you're satisfied, you're not stuffed, get up from the table, I wouldn't be sitting here needing a lap band right now. You know, what's the whole point of going through all this? I needed some type of restriction. Like I told you all in the video yesterday, I ate 20 chips. 20 chips! I did. And after I told my mom, I didn't, you know, I tried to be nice and leave them in the car, I ate 20 chips. And then I felt so bad. Like, why, why was I even eating chips? 
because she brought him to my house. But anyway, so she acts real snotty and then said, I'm doing your feel, you know, but, blah, you know. So anyway, so since my port is at my bra line, I was told to stand up against the wall, which I was a little bit nervous about because I don't know if I told you all. I know I've told you all I have. Oh, oh sorry. I've told you all I have PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. I don't know. I'm sure I have in an earlier on video, uh, pre-op video, but I don't. I I may not have told you all. I have a disease called neurocardiogenic vasovagal syncope and it's basically where my vagus nerve does not work properly and it does not tell my when my blood pressure raises my heart rate drops when my heart rate raises my blood pressure drops and they're supposed to work together rise together and they don't and um, all my blood um, when I get very tired or stand a long time or get excited, um, you know, they don't work together. And all my blood does not circulate to the top of my head. All my blood is from my waist down. And basically I pass out. <laughs> but the thing about it, I, I was on medicine for it, but I've kind of learned how to control it. And I don't like taking medicine. So when I feel, you know, um, that I'm going to pass out, I know what to do. So basically when I pass out, if I lay flat, um, my legs, you know, my um, blood will circulate to the top half of my body and I come to. I'm basically not getting any blood flow to my brain. Um, so anyway, as you all who had a lap band know, the vagus nerve, you know, is is around the area where where you've had surgery. Um, so I was standing up against the wall, and she stuck a needle to numb my port, which is under my bra, my bra line. And um, I was looking down, watching to see what she was doing. She took three needles. She took one needle to numb, one needle she sucked some fluid out to see if I had. Um, any fluid left in from where they did the surgery, which I did. I had one CC. That's why I had restriction, and I was wondering why. So um, then she used another needle and injected. I assume that's what the third needle was for, was to inject um, another CC and a half. So I have two and a half CCs of saline in my band. Um, then she hands me a cup of water and tells me to drink it. And I raised my hand to drink the water, to get the water, and I could not move. She kept saying, Miss McHenry, drink the water. Marcia, Marcia, drink the water. And I could not speak. I could not move. And um, finally, I said, I think I'm going to fall. Sweat was popping out of my head, everything. So she lay, let me lay down on the bed, and of course I, I was fine. Um, they, they're they aware of my disease that I have, but she said that happens to people who doesn't even have the disease. <laughs> because, um, you know, this is in the area where the vagus nerve is, and um, basically if you look down while they're doing it, it, it happens. So anyway, I was fine with that. Um, I do not have to go on a liquid diet for two days. Like most people have said, I'm on mushy. And I'm running out of 10 minutes, but I wanted to take my Band-Aid off while I was here. While, you know, I was on here just to see what was going on. And I can't get it off. I can't get it off. Oh, I look normal. As you can see, it looks normal. Anyway, that was my feel sore. Ew, it's blood all over. <laughs> There's blood all over the band-aid. But that was my field story. I had a terrible nurse practitioner, but, you know, everything went good. I can eat mushy today and back on regular food tomorrow. Um, I've lost, uh, this is what I hurry up and say, I've lost two pounds since Friday for a total of ten pounds this week. Two pounds since Friday. That's excellent. Bye.